Beckham's deliver huge blow to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Greetings from Royal Family Lit on my channel. The Beckhams have dealt Meghan Markle and Prince Harry yet another blow to their already tense friendship. Venereal illness, Vikings, and enormous wine vats that could submerge a king. Historically, the British royal family has been outclassed or underappreciated for a wide range of reasons. Imported queens from the lowlands, republicanism, wayward arrows, hunting mishaps, and Prussians are not listed. Now that the quills have been removed, let's add a few more names to the list, a soccer player and his warbler-turned-clothing horsewife. This week, Beckham, the Netflix original series about the legendary athlete David Beckham and his wife Victoria Beckham, a former Spice Girl who later became a high-end designer and the most well-known admirer of steamed salmon in the world, kept scoring goals and using other football jargon that I haven't looked up on Google. Even now, weeks after its premiere, the show has only fallen one spot from its top spot on the streamer. With Beckham's debut, the show has instantly transformed the power couple of the Audis and 90s into a hot new coupling. There is no greater stark comparison between the current high that Posh and Bex are experiencing and the high of another royal couple who made a similar TV turn. More than two years after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex signed their $157 million deal with the streamer, their six-part series Harry and Meghan was finally released in December of last year. The royal family has never before allowed cameras to have such an intimate and unguarded look at them. Royal Family from 1969 comes in a distant second. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. The Globe anxiously and hungrily tuned in to see King Charles' son and daughter-in-law lay siege to Buckingham Palace as the wackily called Sussex show finally made its premiere. TV history was made and viewers were captivated. Before long, Netflix was excitedly announcing to The Globe that Harry and Meghan marked the company's largest ever documentary launch. Wednesday took first place on the streamer, but the show was unable to surpass it despite the media uproar and the Sussex's scathing criticism. However, the series may first be marked as a victory for the professional triad of Harry, Meghan, and Netflix. However, none could have imagined what happened next. First off in only a few short weeks, the Duke and Duchess' soul-bearing and emotionally charged TV appearance caused their U.S. fakerability to completely collapse. According to a poll conducted by Redfield and Wilson for Newsweek between the beginning of December 2022 and January 18 of this year, Harry lost 45 points and Meghan lost 36 points in terms of public opinion in the U.S. The same publication also gave us the seriously catchy headline, The more Prince Harry and Meghan Markle say, the less Americans like them. It's been almost a year since some royal observers had to endure hours upon hours of the Sussexes wallowing in their resentment, and things aren't looking good for them now. They haven't been able to make up for all the ground they lost in December and January. According to the most current UK of data, Meghan's popularity took a new hit in July, August, and September, falling 7 points to plus 10. This coincided with Meghan staging a sort of comeback to the public eye, showing up at Bianca concerts and posing for Instagram. Harry's net position on plus 24 did not change. Family Guy only started making fun of the Sussexes last week, joining South Park and a number of other A-list comedians in depicting their lives as essentially meaningless and useless. In the meantime, everything in Beckham land is bright and sunny, with recently revived cultural significance. David has amassed half a million social media followers since the premiere of their show, and interest in the duo has greatly increased worldwide. Gulp gulp. Mucho I. Get Victoria her typical celebratory great please. Unplural. According to Google Trends data, the debut of the Sporting Icon series has resulted in a large spike in related searches, considerably surpassing the relatively little increase in search interest that coincided with the premiere of Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan have a 19% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, while Beckham has an average of 98%. In addition, Anna Wintour attended the Beckham screening, and rumors have it that Victoria is negotiating a documentary of her own. Add another grape. You get my meaning here. One Netflix series about the Beckhams and the Sussexes has significantly improved the couple's reputation, whereas the other Netflix series has only served to damage it. Del Taco, a U.S. fast food company, is teasing brand Sussex on social media. 
and Brand Beckham has never looked better.